President Donald Trump is in Phoenix, Arizona, the visit coming just a day after the president announced his decision to deepen U.S. involvement in Afghanistan and as racial tensions run high across the nation. Reporter Chris Martinez has the latest. President Trump returned to Phoenix for the first time since taking office, fresh off a tour of a border patrol center near the Mexican border. It is finally time to rebuild our country, to take care of our people, and to fight for the jobs our great American workers deserve. As Trump supporters filed into the arena, I'm happy with the jobs that he's producing. Protesters marched through the streets to denounce the president's previous views on Charlottesville. What happened in Charlottesville strikes at the core of America. And tonight, this entire arena stands united in forceful condemnation of the thugs who perpetrate hatred and violence. Others refuse to forget the divisive rhetoric Mr. Trump used against illegal immigrants on the campaign trail. You can't just sit there and not do something. Basic rights are under attack. The mayor of Phoenix had asked President Trump to delay his visit here as a way to keep the peace. Many demonstrators remain angry the president is considering pardoning Joe Arpaio, who was recently convicted of carrying out illegal traffic patrols targeting immigrants. I think it all culminated and, and made the issue of division in this country worse than it is. The state's two Republican senators, John McCain and Jeff Flake, have publicly clashed with the president in recent days. Both declined to join Mr. Trump and his events in the state today. The large crowd full of people with opposing views remained peaceful throughout the president's visit. Later in sports, a look at new helmets being used at Moorhead to help the coaching staff monitor head injuries. Up next, Uber may be a great way to get around for some folks, but you might be charged extra for the mess you make inside the car. Details to come.